Bogba yin eyan wa mo mo to ki yin kakiri origun mere rin gbogbo ayin bi te ti lori ofe te ti nwo wa Mr Lamike eyin te ni a o ti tojo meta te ti buro mi ti ola Mr Lamike se ko si ko si nkan kan e mo most of the time eyan mo busy awon se ma nje ke yin o busy sugbon Mr Lamike tun ti wa tu so lo ori awon nkan kan o eleyi a ke ko to lagbara nbe Je mo pe lenu jo meta awon eyan fa ki no npe passport international passport won fa ya tori pe nu bi won lori gbogbo n to nsele ni location nine gbogbo ro to wa mi o ni se pelu e o ni se pelu oro yoruba nation o ni se pelu rin ajo ta rin eyin eyan to ka lo e tun wa gba won asiri to se koko to se pataki ta ni lo ta gbodo mo Sugbon mi o ni gba wa la koko rara lori eleyi eh Mr Mike e ku se opolo Olorun mo fun yin se Orilede wa ta nwo wa ju ajo de be ni la se idumare Sugbon kin to gbe Mr Ola Mike wole en to je igba koko yin re te darapo mo ikan ni yi e mo gba gbe e ba wa subscribe sori kan ni yi be ba ti wa subscribe ton kini kan be nwa ju e bi agogo bayi ni lo se ri ete be ba ti te ba ba nse live show lowo yo so fun yin ba ba fi video to to sori kan ni wa ki a eyin le je ni akoko ti o so fun ki wa tun se yen nikan gbugbu awon news update ta ma nse lori kan ni wa ori siri si awon eto ta nse e mo ni pere wule e mo gbadun gbugbu awon eto wa lo sugbe mo gbagbe na youtube channel mr ola mike na wa o e dr ola mike show lori youtube e ba won subscribe sori e na o wa very very important e subscribe sori e e mo wa je nda yin lagara e je ki n gbe mi so lama iki wole ka tun wa gbo gudugbe oro lenu jo meta yi awon eyan kan fa ewe irin na won passport won won fa ya o wa le ori ero aye lu jara awon kan ti se be ri nigba kan amo lenu jo meta tori gbogbo lasigbo ati gbogbo n to nsele awon eyan kan tun bere si se be won tun wuru wa e mo wa wo mo ni okay ko si la buru nbe o e ma si mi gbo en ti nun bi nitori on to nsele ati gbogbo oruduru dure dere de to fa passport e ya o leto so nko on to ba wu lati se o lo ni ra e ero ngbo ken ni amo mo fe je ki asa ki esi kini kan mo fe pe aki esi yin si kini kan e ri pe opolopo to n fa passport won ya yi ko si oro e ya la nso boya igbo abausa bi yoba no sugbon opolopo won e ri pe ile okere oke okun ni won gbe won gbe nigeria on lo wa mu mi lo tamiji pe hmm mo ni lati se nkan kan ani lati gbara wa soro ka gbara wa ni yanju iwo to ba wa ninu nigeria lowo lowo bayi to ngbe nigeria ma sha fara we o ma fa passport e ya mo fi yonu olorun oba be mo fi eledumare be mo mo oro bo la po ni o mi o ti yo jade tan ngba tin ba dele on ti mo so yo yi o o ri di ti mo se fe gba o la mo ran ti mo fe gba o ma si fi itan kan to je oju lowo to je o to ki se ni keni ni o emi gangan oro ara mi ni ma fi sa peju we fun e ko le yi e oju olorun de ri mi ohun ti mo fe so fun yin itan ti mo fe fi gbe ki se aroso o ko n se ro o ohun to sele si mi gangan ni o ni mo fe fi gbe fun yin ko le ye yin daada boba boba dide boba ni inu nbi opelu gbogbo ohun to sele boba fa passport e ya o leto lati fa ya o to be oju be lo be ni o se asise Sumba, on to buru mbe to komi lo minu ni pe to ba fa ya so ni we ni na ti lu mi to fe ma lo to ba di eh eh to di oh oh oni kaluku nbe ru en kaluku nsa lo so ni we ni na ti won fi da omo to ba fe wo lu oni lu to ro se koko o se pataki o odun o rorun fe to wa loke okun bi emi bi mo se joko yi mo le so fun yin pe e ja ja de ni e ma ja gba e ja se gba e ja sawo so won po ke okun le mi wa emi ni excuse lati so fun o iditi mi finish nbe sugbon 
emi ko ni mo ti o si nkan kan o emi ko ni mo ran o ni se o to wu o lokan to ro to fe se ohun lo lo se at the end of the day nitori pe ti o ba to kan wa ki lo to lo se won le nta ko ni ka to gba tinu e lo po abi be ko ni emi wa loke okun emi o ni paro fe ni ke ninu yin be ni am a citizen of the united state of america i have my us passport likewise my nigerian passport mejeji ni mo ni be ni jan so kodoro ato toro fun e to ba wu mi tin ba fe wa si nigeria lola mo le ma lo nigerian passport mi mo le mu us passport mi lo si nigerian consulate kini kan fun mi ni visiting visa mo fe se vacation lo nigeria is it that they stamp it or they refuse me? Why she can't no major journey? In Koto Bafi, mu want to want stamp we. Mole lo U.S. passport me. Mole one Nigeria. Mole ma wole ki ma da de tinka ko ni sele. The only difference there ni pe mi o wole gege bi o moni lu. Mo wole bi a jeji to a visit. Mo wole bi o America. So ti mo so yo. Ama wato wa Nigeria. To je pe passport in Nigeria ni kan lo shini lo wo. Yes, la she do mare. Ama agba le yo ba wa. Ama ni passport le yo ba. Oma ibo ma agba ya biafra wan wan ma ni passport biafra. A wusa ma lo si are wa wan wan ma ni passport are wa. La she do mare. Subo, a ti debe koti se le. E ma je ka she. In kanto le kwa da wa dikpe. Ah! Mba mwa ki ma she bi mo she she yo ba wo mo she wa fe she ba. E ma je abanyan da rwe la sa. E ma je ato wo bo rung kan be. Mo mwa kwa ro mi o ti ma ye. O kwa lo kwa yin. O lo kwa te gwa ju mi lo te wa lo ri wetu yi. O ro mi o ti ma ye o kwa lo kwa yin. Ok. Those people that are tearing up or burning their passport. Nigerian passport. They live abroad. They don't live in Nigeria. Which means they have another passport. They have dual citizenship and if tomorrow they decide to go to nigeria they can present their foreign passport at any nigerian consulate and apply for a visiting visa which means they can still enter and come out of nigeria with their foreign passport as long as the nigerian consulate grant them the permission to enter on their foreign passport which means they don't have any problem but you that you stay in nigeria you only have one passport your nigerian passport if you tear it up or you burn it it means you cannot go out if anything happens you are stuck them we are kcsc kinikon kilo muero ipe ti wabani lagba jase silu wasare mu wasape wanti gba passport lo we even if you have a foreign passport, they will seize all of them from you. You know why? Because they don't want you to go out. They want to keep you in there. Bernie. Because it remains a fact that nobody can change. You cannot go anywhere without a passport. Either fake or original. But it is always in your best interest to have an original passport of a country. It has to be original because let me bust your bubble the moment you are trying to travel with a fake passport if you are caught if you are caught with a fake passport that is a crime that is a crime there is no crime in you trying to escape and travel or run away from your country if you feel you are in trouble even if you are caught in a foreign land you can tell them you want to seek asylum. Only so far, okay. Okay, if we meet asylum, one look by me, me, ni luta ati bi me ti motin sabo passport me ni, and they can look at your passport and identify you, eh? By what standard, eh? By the standard set by uh, United Nations, you are entitled to seek for asylum in a foreign country. When you feel your life is threatened now ask yourself if you burn or tear up your passport and something comes up you have to you know run for your life how are you going to do it how are they going to identify you yes you might get lucky 
and say, oh, I was not able to come with my passport. But that would be a long process. It would have been easy if you have a passport. It would be like a straightforward thing. A lot of people come into the U.S. and then they file for asylum. They submit their passport. And most of them get lucky. They get granted. It depends on what you tell them. Oh, somebody is trying to kill me back home. And you get lucky, they allow you. Okay, look at, uh, what's her name? DJ Switch. Nick Bayensas. She's no longer in Nigeria right now. She lives abroad. If she doesn't have a passport, if she doesn't have a way to travel, how will she be able to get out of Nigeria? You can say, okay, I'll go and do another one. What if they already flag your name? Remember now, the internet is so powerful. Every moment you come online and you do something, especially when some people feel like, oh, so you are tearing your Nigerian passport. You are saying it doesn't mean anything. Then you want to come back and say you need a new one or you, you, you can't find it. They will bring out that video and show you where we saw you tearing it up or we saw you burning it. They can decide not to issue another one because now they can decide to treat you as a criminal. That, that, that's an offense because that's an official document belonging to that country. Yes, you paid your money to get it. In essence, what I'm trying to tell you is, let's be careful. Don't mimic everything you see online. Don't mimic everybody you see online. As I'm sitting down right here, I can decide to go inside my room and bring out my Nigerian passport and tear it to pieces or burn it. That's because I have another passport of another country that I can use to go anywhere I want to go. But you, you probably have only one. And you don't have any other one yet. I don't care whatever fallacy or whatever story anybody is telling you anywhere. If a passport come and be gone, don't deceive yourself. Ask yourself, is that passport recognized yet? No. If your answer is no, then you need to think twice before you do anything funny or anything crazy. Now, for me to tell you how powerful your passport is and how powerful everything about you is when you are trying to go to a foreign land i don't care how you are trying to go in there or let's say you are already in there so let's come into my own story now that i want to tell you my own experience oh, before i go further i'm going to branch somewhere if my uncle is watching right now with his wife and the people that knew me when i first came into this country i want to thank all of you for everything you did for me iwati obawa in america abi any any foreign country to ba mo iya won eyan to de sodo won gba to koko de mo fi yona olorun be o lasale pe won ko ki won ko dupe lowo won dupe lowo olorun pe o ba won pade nitori pe iran lowo nlan la ori nlan la oni won se fun e iwe mi bai mo mo lore bi mi ba mo tele mo ti mo because i've come to understand that it matters a lot the kind of help you get when you come into a new country it don't matter how you came in yes you can come in with all your papers yes I came into the U.S. with all my papers. I had my green card when I came in. I mean, like, I came in legally. Because I won a visa lottery, right? So I, I didn't have any problem coming in. And I don't have to hide. But even with that, it's not easy. But with the help of people around me, like my uncle, the wife, and their friends and everybody around they were able to help me and guide me. It don't matter how much you know. I mean, how much you knew from where you're coming from. You are now in a different place, a different land. And the people there, no matter how little they know, whatever they tell you matters a lot. It will help. It will go a long way. The kind of guidance and advice they give you will go a long way. Yes. So why am I saying this? I want us all to understand this. 
the mentality we always have when we are coming from back home is different from what is obtainable here in the U.S. So I came in with that type of mentality, thinking, you know, I can wake up anytime and go to my brother's house, my uncle's house, and they, are, they should be able to do some things for me. And, you know, back home, I can be in your house as my family member and not worry about how you pay your light bills, how you feed or anything, and just be eating. And nobody will say nothing. But I'm telling you tonight, it's not like that when you go into a foreign land. But most of us, we don't know this. We don't know that the people we are staying with, they are going through a lot to put food on the table, to make sure the light stays on, to make sure there's a roof over your head, to make sure the water is flowing. We don't know that. We are just living large. So I'm grateful and I'm glad, and I'm saying it tonight, for what all the people around me when I came in, for everything they did for me. Because I was so lucky when I started working, I did not have to spend a dime out of my check. Every time I get paid, I bring my check home, I put it in my luggage. I didn't touch it. I didn't cash it. Nothing. So I had like maybe about 20 checks or more. When I finally decided to go, you know, to cash the check, I have to open a bank account. So I decided to go to the bank. I'm talking about in those days when you need to bring three or four references before they will open an account for you. You just showing up with your passport and your green card or whatever at the bank doesn't mean you can open an account in those days. They need people that are already living here, that, have, that are working and are not criminals to come and be your reference for you to open an account in any bank. I didn't know all that. I walk into the bank. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to open an account. So I, I brought all these checks in. And I, I laid down my passport, my green card and everything. And this woman, this white woman looked at me and, and she was laughing. She said, young man, where are you from? account. <laughs> And she looked at the check. She saw the name of the company. Said, so you work here. And the funny thing was, Ibitimotin, she said, one bank one one So she knows where I work. They said, oh, yeah, I've been seeing you in that place. Okay. But didn't anybody tell you that you need some references to open an account? I'm like, uh-uh. Because I told me some of your tear more. They said, yes, you do. But she looked at the checks. She counted the number of checks. And she looked at the amount on each of the checks. She said, how are you able to do all this? To keep all these checks? So how have you been feeding? You are working. You didn't cash your check. You are not spending your money. You must have a lot of money. And I was just standing there looking at her like, Oh, oh, oh. I want to me. But she now told me, well, I need a reference to open an account. I mean, three references. So I look at her, I said, I have to pay this cash, I mean, check. I have to deposit this check, this check today because I'm trying to move to my own place. And I want this done. I've already gotten a place. And the landlord is waiting for me to, you know, to make some payment. So I'm actually going to need a, a blank check or something today. So that I can retain this apartment that I just got. So whatever you have to do. So she looked at me. Uh, it's not common. Only but I can see something. You are not actually from here. So maybe that is a factor in what I'm seeing. Oh, honey, I'm going to help you. Only manager banking. I also said the manager banking. Only I've just been promoted to the manager. And I'm going to do something that we don't normally do for you today. 
Olo Maduro as number one reference for me. Based on in Kanto Unri, pe ko common la ni dudu. Ki e yon ko check yon ba ko manon. E ron ti pe moni. Ki lo fe mi lanfa na ti ko check yon. To ri pe on ron kou mi a ti awe le min jen on si ti mong besi. So ko se yon to ken mi. Mi ko si kon ti mong fe fo wo yon she. So o wak ba check yon lor mi. O wani, o wak pe a wan meji. La la wan to ton shi shen nong bank yon. I wo, I wo. E ma bo, a jo fi li fo mong yon fara kon yon. A wan mette ta la ma she reference yon. Mo je ni nou ore, a ti a nou ti a wong obite, mi nan tan ti she se yin ni. E yon dudu nan she foun, e yon foun foun nan she foun, a fin ni, a kon rin ni, a bin rin ni, a ron ni, a bouke se yin ni, e mi o mwa. A mwa 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 pe yon jon yon, a nou ni mwa ori ba, ni nou ore, ta wong obi mi, ti wong ti she se yin, mo je re yon jon yon. Wong she a kan ti mi foun mi. Bi mo she mba yin soro yon, lwa wa lwa wa yi, ti mba wong nou banki yon lwa la. Bi a wong mong mi, ika kan nou a wong mong mi, tamba wong nou bank yin a bi a wong mi, wong da wong mong. Ni biti ya yon she de. Kon she bank yin ke kere wong, kon she pe wong lor wong kong. But personally, mi o de lor wong de be. But if I walk into that bank, they know me, they know my name. Ya ti mong sa o ti retire an sin, o ti bat ye lor. But if I go into, there are three branches, ti mong mong, ti mong mong lor. If I walk into any of them, they know me. They call me by my name. Bo ba mu cheki lo be. To lo fek ba. They will call me on the phone before they pay you. You can shame me ni mo ko cheki. They know my signature. Wan mo mo mi to kere ju. Ni biti olon shi ore yen fu mi de. Wan a shi akanti yen fu mi njo yen. So yan yen ti mo mi shi mo. Ni njo yen nan. One make a photocopies, but go document me my Nigerian passport, my green card. Ah, can you want to bury law me? Eh, can you wait on feedback? Me see share a bit more things she share, pe a bit more things she share. So one need document here, need no file one. Can you move me law back? Can you move a file? But but by your way, money move a join me. He share a logo, move a join navy. I want to be a naval officer. In the U.S., mo lo si biti wan ting ba yon si she nevi. Mo she bo bo nkotan ni kashe, mo she everything, mo pass, exam. Ok. O wa de bi physical. Ya yon kwe mi ti mo yon se de la ti Nigeria. Ta mi yon tu wan jek ba o tutu, o tutu mu. So, ara mi o ti ya just. O tutu yon o ti mo mi la ra. So, but he wants a physical. I passed every other thing, but my blood pressure was high. I was so fumi ke. To the blood pressure, me to high, yeah. Oh, I need to get in Navy. Oh, I ran the battle, man, so fumi. Once in Ogun Raki, at Iran, on Lolo Wangba, yeah. Benny, by Logun, yes, I send better. I want so fumi ke, but I want to get back fumi. Kin join U.S. Marine. Abi kin join U.S. Army. I told you this. Some people might think it's a lie. You know why they want me to join the Marine or the Army? Because they want to send me to war immediately. Tota me ba maloku koloku. Toba de ma ye koye. Because wan she prefer kan ba e wole si lu wan kan re lo so gun kolo jagun fun wan. Bo wan ni gba e wole kan wak bie si yon lo pa. O ti domo lu wan o ti di citizen. Green card lo gbe dani. It is called internal security. They will not put you there. Ara dini yon ta fini la ti gba e le yon ba. Ka man ipi omo yon lu ba ara wa ta domo ra wa. A wan la fi she internal security wa. A bibe koni. On la fi man ipi we are safe. It's not that I will be talking to a policeman in Yoruba land. And that policeman doesn't understand my culture. He doesn't understand me. Which means he can do anything with me. He can play any game. Mo ya si be yen ni. Eje kakpa da so jwa na. So. Mo wa sa fumi wa ni. High blood pressure. Ti mo ni ye. The only way. Tan le fi wave fwe fumi. Konje ki ma lo. A fi timba ma lo si ma rin. A bi kin lo si a mi. Bukbo a wan ta jo wa ta jo se sa an ta jo ri ra wan be. A ti a wan to je Afrika Amerika. Ta an kwe la katabi. A ti foun foun wan. Ta ti dore ta jo pade lo te. Ta an kwa wasi. 
You know one do don't say yes. I want to be a marine. I'm going to war. I mean war. I mean pay war. Bow marine. Bow no. I want to go to the navy. Navy ain't gonna gun low me or ni mofe. But they told me because of that blood pressure. Now there was this Nigerian woman among the uh, the panels. I want to want she uh, physical checkup me for. She's a medical doctor and she's from Nigeria. Oluwas of only wait a minute. Leave this guy alone. He just came from Nigeria. The change in uh, atmosphere, the change. We put on no affect the body temperature. Koti acclimatize. Koti. Ara oti wa use more weather. On loje konya blood pressure. He pay almost as a mari rue. He pay a lot of people from Africa. When they just come in. Toba digba winter. The, there is every tendency they will have high blood pressure. What shall I insist? If they know, I'm okay. Pay in cotton for me. One, thank you. Ah, uh, Alagba Kofo, Sholagba De, Mori Imbe, Alagba Ariyo, Olamide, uh, Alagba Eji Kumi, Ife Dotun, Olabi, Mori Imbe, Shegoni, Yafi Esta, Adetun, Ewe Tuga, JP. Mokini, Ekabo, Sorieto, thank you. Ah, uh, Ope Oluwani, Ekabo, Eshegoni, Moki Bobo Wow. Get Mojin Bar Robo. What I insist? Ya and Umba of Ape, why do you want to treat him like that? O qualify, O Chesam, O Pass, O Shebobon, everything was okay. She bear away for fun, other people to want their own Louis. They insisted. But all I fed the Walla. Recruit him into Mumilo. Oh, I love that one. She meet him. Oh, I pada. I want it. Okay. One day, this is what they need me to do. They want me to go back. Oh, I need kill all my lossy fire station. Toba sumami. Come about me she temperature. I mean, come about me who blood pressure me. Kima lo la ro. Kim lo lo son. Kim de lo ni ro le. Come about record the meteta. One for many paper can. Come about me record the sibe. Kim keep we. Ipe so toba ya. One ma kwe mi ma wa muwa. If it is okay, one more Jackie Malo. Okay, mo mu mo koda, mo pe ya to bi milo mo mo sofu mo. You know what my mom told me? Mom told me ni to ba je fi olon ni. Oh, ni ni blood pressure olon. Subban tamba ti ni ologun blood pressure ni. Tell me what you say, Ami, ati mani. Mo mo kanju lo wa she mi kolo ma she mo pa da sile. Mok para si bi shemi to ri mi o fi shele mo nshi shemi lo. She wari within the town ti mo fi lo se blood pressure ti mo lo bi shemi ti mo nshi. Mo ra anu gba lo do lo ng gidi gan. Okpo lo kpo gan to mo mi gba ti mo di amerika ti wang jom mo lui. Iba ti wang pada ri mi la ni osu mefa ti mo ndagbe ti mo bere she. Wang ma wo mi ni pe abi wo okbe ni ta ri to man gung keke lo bi shemi gba anko yini. To ri bi shemi o jim kupo sile. I be why go in because land was my farm. Motor moto, moto to modern low. Oh, da. Oh, she will load you. So they were wondering, like, ah, ah. let them bow. Oh, see, bow. She worry, yaw, you both to one bank here. Oh, my friend, on me. Oh, every time to battery me, no man doing that money. I just love to see you. Koda, oh, she they be pay all on to adopt me, pay more to the among. But because Mojako only another side, the do do pay, cause him come to wrong, but you do. Maybe to your long came in day. Timo ro jure re o long ba. Timo ra anu ba. Mwa lo mwa mbo. So, tori bi. Bo bo nkan she wari infu mi ye. She mwa to sele. Mwa lo bi she njo kan. Kinto ti bi she de. Mwa lo fo le mi. Mwa fo le mi. Yes. O le fo le mi. Mwa ko bo bo. Inkan to da anu le mi. Mwa ni lo geji kan. Lo geji mi ti mwa gbe wala ti na jire ani. Inu e ni bo bo credentials mi. Nigerian passport me, green card me, international driver license. Ti moko kon lo koto di pe moko ba US driver license. O wanwe. Mora wan jwen risk kon. Ti mo fe koran she si mo mi mi. Moko si nwe. Ago. O wanwe. Ati a wan shon. Ti mo ra. Ti mo ni. Ti ba renton lo le. Ma koran she si mo mi mi. Bo bwe wanwe. A wan shon native. Ti mo ko wa. Wan wan nwe. Bo mo ti ni. Pa lok. Che ma wan pa lok. Ta ma fin ti loge. Ta ba fe travel yen. O wale nwe. So da ipi ba te ni. E fole kon ti wan wale. 
Ton for glass is sliding door. To man wa le yin bi kitchen ye. O nan for wale. Wan kan ju pe. Glass is tan wan for. Boya wan to wan sale. Wan ma ak bari wo. O she she kan te po lok pa. Bi ke yon kan fe yon ju. Wan kan be loge ji ye be. To ri pe wan ri si. Wan be bo be lok. Bo bo credentials mi. O wan wè. So ba te mi ti bi shede ti mo rin kato se le. Mo pe landlord mi. Mo pe yon lok pa. Olopa de won se report won ri everything now mo tin de bi ti e ti ma understand di pataki to wa attach mo passport ati bi te eyan ti wa mo tin de be mo fe ka fara bale ko le ye gbogbo wa dada eran ti pe mo ni o le fole mo pe olopa olopa wa won document e that's one thing they have in america ba se nsoro le ni tin ba lo si eh city yen lola won pe be yen ni permit o tin ba lo be lola tin ba ni mo fe ki won ba mi pull record u case yen jade won ma pull e jade gbogbo nkan tan ko sibe njo yen won ma print e jade fun mi ki se pe o ma da wa ti pe won ni rimo won ma wa jade fun mi all i have to do is go there tell them what i want if i remember the date and then tell them my name and tell them the the uh, apartment number the address won ma pull e jade lori record won won dem a print e fun mi won de won de won fi stamp won si pe yes eni yo pa ro o o to ni nkan to so po sele lo sele won ma mu fun mi so won wa won document everything won se gbogbo nkan ton fe se won lo now time to ye ke mi pada lo sodo awon navy o ti wa to e ma wo nkan o igba ti mo koko lo won ti gba gbogbo awon document mi won ti photocopy e o wa nu file ti won create fun mi ngba ti mo bere exam ti mo se gbogbo e they have all my document everything necessary photocopies of my credentials from primary up to tertiary institutions ti mo lo gbogbo e wa lowo won copy of my passport o wa lowo won copy of my green card o wa lowo won but remember now o le ti gbe original lo atara original yen la won ti se photocopy to wa lowo won won de ri won mo pa won la won gba original ta won fi se photocopy you know when i went back and they process all my stuff and they say oh we are ready to send you back so you are going to the camp wa lo bere training but you know what they ask for won ni ki lo ko original gbogbo awon credentials mi yen won ni ki lo ko wa ibi ti problem ti bere ni so I now told them, pe, ah, me o ni mo, she bi mo di fun yin jok kinyan no, any photocopy now, o de be file me o fi yon, mba o ni yes, we have all the photocopies, they are right here, o de she o fi yon mi, o ni but, I need the original copies, to verify again, before, we finish processing your files, mo ni o le fole mi o le tik be, luggage lo, eno e lo wa, I can bring you the police report, only police report. Only kini suru. O di de o lo. O pa ya de. Only o un sorry. Only mo le mu police report wa. Only but that will not help. Only okay. Do you have any form of identification right now that identifies you? That says it is you. And that shows where you came from. Remember, log it on be. If you my birth certificate and everything. They are all in there. I don't have nothing except my driver license, US driver license. But boy, I want me. You know, because of that, not doing alone. Or just to your key one process for me consult, but to my father, to my mama, to camp, to my little training. Once of me, I'm sorry. One stop, we go processing. You know what he told me? Only right now, as you are standing in front of me, you are a nobody. We don't know where you came from. Honestly speaking, ni wadju olon o baten yon gbo lok pe jeri ro. Only as you are standing in front of me, you are a nobody. We don't know where you came from. Money, but you have, you are the one that made photocopies from my original. Only yes, I know that, but nobody will believe me. You need to bring it again. I need to make fresh copies. Because this is like we are just processing you now. And I really can't prove that you came from Nigeria. I need that your Nigerian passport. I need your birth certificate. Where are they? 
oni kin lo muwa igba ta wa rojo oni we oni se bi nigeria ni consulate la america oni kin lo be na oni kin lo complain kin complain kin lo report ara mi kin lo gba passport mi oni ton ba ti fun mi ni passport mi kin pada wa you know i had no choice ijo en mo gan ko mo pe the nigerian consulate in atlanta is as useless as anything mo ba bossy online mo ba mu number won mo ba pe nigerian consulate the phone just kept ringing the phone just kept ringing nobody picks the call mo pe won like that for a whole month every day Every little time, Timbani, Mama Macbe, phone you, Mama Ring, nobody picks that phone. Ni ya, yeah. Even up to now, we also have to make a bed, no, Sherry. I was calling, you know. But why, when you okay, I might have to go there. I went there. You know, okay, Kinto Lobe, Moa Lossy Bank. Iya bank yen iya oyin bo yen ojo to le fole mi mo lo be tori mo lo bank lo gba owo awon owo bi cash ti ma ni pe kin na inu luggage tan gbe lo yen owo wa be so mo lo bank mi ni choice mo so fun mo ni mo ni lati gba owo owo yen de ma po die pe o le fole mi oni really police station pameto yen ko de jin si bi bank yen o wa ni se mo report mo ni ye mo lo lopa wa mo ni bo nkan ton so mo ni ko ye mi mo lo da pe won fe treat case mi dada tori pe mo ja africo you know this woman stood up oni kin tell you o gbe mi sinu moto o si gbe mi lo ba oga olopa to wa nbe o de nbi ni question ni waju mi oni bobo is so pe un mental fallen tori mo pada mental fallen mi yes boy fun fun kan to ngbe odo awon neighbor mi ni sale on lo fallen mi even glass to ya lo one bat to for glass o ju bi ti glass ti ya o wa lo we money bo tun won se nkan kan tori emi ma wo pe gbogbo nkan ta won ni ori tv ti won ni forensic files en ta ba ti reje won se dna oju yen le mi fi wo emi o mo pe ko ori be yan o tun ni process emi o mo pe won le dede lo arrest eyan o gbodo kokoko se nkan kan na ti won ma tori e mu ta ba wa mu won wa ni you know what a fe gba dna e ton ba wa gba won wa lo compare si evidence tori eje to yi be sheet minu yara nigba to n gbe luggage to n ko awon laptop owo to da dori bed eh won ge gbogbo e won mu lo on la won ma fi pa mo si evidence gbe mi o mo gbogbo yen mi yari mo nbinu iya yen wa de be iya yen na wa so fun pe no pe ko nse anything like that pe i want sure bobo yen pe ba won need lati so fun mi pe even to ba wa moto ko ja lasan ti na moto yen kan ba fo awon ma dadu o di gba ta n ba koko arrest e ka won to ma wa process e lo si bi case te mi pe bo ti o ba sese kankan ni won ba gba ti o se n to ka mo bi ti o ti n jale yen gangan te ni e se tan lati duro lati se testify pe ogbe ni mo ri e iwo lo for glass to wonu le bobo e pe awon o le lo mu o gbodo kokoko se nkan kan na o le je ese mi lo ma se even bo se wa yan to ba lo party ton ba na ja o gba yan le ti lasan ta won ba mu ta won de ti mo pe mo so pe mo suspect e awon ma process e lo si bi case mi but not until then iya yan wa wo mi loju iya yan wa ni kin ja lo gba ta wa ku o wa bi mi o ni kila le se mo ni ko mi o mo kan ti mo le se mo pe mi o mo bi ti mo le lo oun lo wa so fun mi oni oke first thing first je ka koko lo gba social security card e pada let me take you to the social security office i have photocopies of all your documents when you open your account let's go to the office i will bring them out we will make extra photocopies e gba e mo tin lo si school mo lo si school na i i will give you photocopies that you can keep and then we will go together I will go and talk to them and see what we can do. O tell let me lose the social security office. And to buy more Atlanta dada. Lati Pameto. I lost the new nan. That's a long way. Yeah, I want to share officially. Nibi tomorrow, I'm not bad. O tell let me lose. Because you pay me a little love for me. 
bo tele mi nitori pe ko fe kan ma foju eyan to dudu abi to wa lati africa wo mi o fe to je pe ton ba ti ro un kon le tete se nkan to ba ye kan se fun mi mo ra anu yen gba lodo olorun olorun ran ya yen si mi agbalagba len ti mo nso ye o o wa gbe mi lo awa debe ajoko gba to ya won pe mi o tele mi de kan ta won bi won ni bawo lo se je si oni bank manager lo un o fun won card oni mo open account lo do awon oni original e pe gbogbo original document yen o wun ri ta won to open account for me you can but now kan wo police report pe ko da o wun lo si police uh, station yen o wun bi won pe o le follow mi loto won ti ko gbogbo kini lo bo gbogbo card mi gbogbo everything mi lo wa nbe the only thing ti mo ni si ni driver license won wa ni okay won ni ko lo joko won gba photocopy yen lowe won wo gbogbo nkan ton ma wo on wa process a new social security number for me just the card because it's going to be the same number but i need that card i need it because timi bari there's a problem mo mo number mi lori but even tin ba fe wa se gan won ma bere card yen because o ma make a photocopy e won ma fi sinu file so akoko lo gba card yen no gba ta gba card yen ton ni joyin a se processing won ni won ma send e pe mo ma ri ninu mail iya e gbe mi alole mo ki mo para si bi se mo nse temi so igba to ya card yen de ko pe si gba yen lo titi mo wa lo si nigerian consulate i went there in person i went there to talk to them igba ti mo de be you need to see how rude how rude they are won ni de lohun won mo ma fi egun lagun gi ni to ba re ti de be awon mo mo la lo ma ba ti won pon be awon awusa and the few yorubas that you will find there they won't even look at your face won agboju won se bi pe won mo eni kan ta bi to ma ti lo ba yan soro gan ebi to tun buru fun won de to le de chinese chinese ni won gbe sibe and that chinese will treat you like a trash in your own consulate ibi ta pe ni consulate in nigeria number 1 won koko se ase ma se won gbe omo nigeria sibe won gba ajeji chinese sibe that chinese now have that air country she has the gut to talk to you anyhow and treat you anyhow and nobody will check her nobody will say nothing to her am a paru ma won yan ni am a sorry she she see ni and none of them will even check her pe come you can't talk to our people like that. I share low rate of when she be me. Told it to one by SB. I'll be she could get coin. So I went there. They were doing all that stupid stuff. But luckily, Motura no bambe. You join a jojo tea. One cock be a new person. What's in the office here? And he heard me. I think he saw the last name. Oh, will all our last name me. But you are any of them about she get. Oh, she will let it out. Do say be me one by me sorrow. But I answer you. Balloon so be temi or me koni. Me only daru kwa for security reasons. Oh, ani all of my kwara ani me money eh. Oh, answer me only that name, that name. Asa sorrow at length. Oh, ani so she bye bye near bye bye money yes. Oh, you okay? Oh, you come in there bye bye bye. Oh, there for many card. Oh, you want to say be on wabini. Only in fact, only in country mo ba wai. On gan gan lo, ma sign si to ma append the signature on si. Only just go. Come back tomorrow. You will see a change tomorrow when you come. Only in fact today, only kindaru ko mi fun. That same Chinese woman. Don't boom it, don't sort of kuso on ya. Only kindaru ko mi fun kinde so oru ko mi pe mo fe room. Money okay sir. Back by the law. Lo and behold, mo danger ke jilo to, mi mo she de kanta yen. Ti mo wo yaya lo ju ti mo ni, oru ko mi ba ba. Kinti e to so mpe mo fe, o ti lo bile kon, o ti shile kon, o ti she welcome sa. O ti ngbon. O ti so kwe welcome sa. Welcome sa. O de mo mi wale. Mo wano office. E gban yen re ni. Wanya aburo ma wona o. En to bu e la na. I will set her right. On de so fun. On ni ko bimi kwe kini mo fe, tea or coffee. Money coffee. On lo lo po coffee ti mo mwa. Pe lo respect. 
won ni ko lo po coffee wa fun mi won treat for cup e won je ko ye pe awon to ni ibi to joko si ni tori ti won lo se nje won you cannot be treating now was he going to is he going to do that for everybody that comes there or was he just doing it for me i don't know but i know they treated me right that day won de fi gbogbo kini mi won mi won ni se passport e ni passport to je pe won tin so fun mi pe in the next one month gan mo le ma ri gba mo ba ni waju egbon yen egbon yen so fun pe passport e ni i just need to sign it and they will take it upstairs uh don't worry normally they are supposed to send it in the mail but i'm going to make sure you take it with you today mo gba passport mi ku o nbe njo yen mo gba ku o nbe njo yen i didn't have to bribe nobody i didn't have to do nothing mo tun ra nu gba ni be emi ni gba go pe ore ti awon obi mi ti se si waju fun omo olomo ta won no mo ri o n le mi na nje anu yen le mi na nje i was not special there was nothing else but i just found faithful with god amen and also women olorun kan se mi laanu olorun fun mi lori ofe yen mo gba passport yen e ma wo se olorun o mo wa mu passport yen mo wa nlo le you know what i told myself mo ni olorun o fe je kin sise ologun mi o sise ologun mo ma ma lo si school mi you know mo de dele mi o pe won mi o lo Guess what was funny? I want to want to want me to want to want to let me go. I want to want to go to the same one on me. If you can watch the office, she will tell you that you have a passport to me. She will tell you that you have a passport to me. If I have not, I want to help me to get a passport to me. But in a nutshell, in the case of the government, it is very important. Even if you have lost your life, you have to be iwe egbelu o ti ye ko ti ni iwe egbelu da your birth certificate to mu wa lati bi ti ilu abini bi ta ti bi e ati passport to mu wa lati be o wa very very important to you for certain reasons i want she kan wa to ma lo to ma lo fe se they will tell you we want to know where you came from oro pe o mu photocopy ko we want to see the original cuz i remember vividly he told me that day you are like a john doe right now you are a nobody that was a military man that was what he told me he said you are a nobody we cannot put you in the military we need to identify you money but you have the photocopies only no that doesn't count now i have it then yes you brought it but now you are telling me it's stolen you brought a police report but i cannot bring you into the military this way i need to see all your documents again and make fresh photocopies but right now as you are standing in front of me even though i have the photocopies from the first one you are a john doe a nobody without your nigerian passport without your birth certificate can you pay more birth certificate in mimujade without my nigerian passport it will be okay but i didn't have none of those all of them were stolen i became a nobody in another man's land even though they have photocopies of my documents so i'm telling you tonight take for instance god forbid oh the hey 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 oh she yoruba nation oh she agitator oh one lay and one lay by me oh that if a passport here yeah oni country na da na da abi o ti lo gbe o po e sibi kan won so pe won ti ni new passport kan bi kan new passport ti o ti wa recognize don't get me wrong it's a good thing and we are going to get there and we are going to use it it's going to work to ba je yen na ni eledun ma ti ko pe passport wa ni ohun na ni ko sento ma yi pada but don't count your eggs before they are hatch don't and don't mimic somebody you see online Tearing their passport. Remember now, we live abroad. You live in Nigeria. There's a difference. And you need to understand another thing. You need to be your own man. You need to be your own woman. Don't let nobody push you around. 
do what you want to do by yourself that comes straight from your heart not because Michaela says so if Michaela says so do you feel that's the right thing to do are you convinced in your heart don't do it because Michaela says so think ask yourself do I want to do this at the end of the day whatever the outcome am I ready to face the consequences or am I going to come out here and blame my caller and say my caller sent me no ask yourself first because as far as i'm concerned if i don't believe in what you are saying or what you are doing i don't care what you say and i don't care who you are you cannot move me and you cannot make me do anything that i don't want to do when i do something it's because i'm convinced in my heart I have that conviction that is the, it is the right thing. It is what I want to do. Not because everybody is doing it. Not because somebody cajole me or somebody brainwash me. I'm a man of myself. And I try to train my children that way. Don't let nobody push you around. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. If you want to know if you are a leader, it starts from you yourself knowing that you have a strong conviction that nobody can just push you around. Because if you are somebody that everybody will push around, forget it. You cannot be a leader. And who told you that you are not a leader? You are the one that will train yourself to be that way. You are the one that will tell yourself that, yes, I can do it. There is nothing nobody is doing that I cannot do. I can even do it better. I can give the people the best. Does that mean you are going to be a leader? If you are not destined to be a leader, you are not going to be. But people will still see that in you. And that respect will be there for you. Don't just be a pushover that people will just push around or talk to anyhow or use you as a tool. Because guess what? At the end of the day, when they use you as a tool, you will be abandoned at the end of the day. And somebody else will be reaping what they use you for. You can even thank God if you don't lose your life. I'm, I'm appealing to you tonight. The fact that you see people doing something online, or somebody come out and say, yeah, yeah, passport. Think twice. Do you have another passport like him? Or like her. As I'm talking to you right now, I have both passports, US and Nigeria. And I can use either one of them to come in and out of Nigeria. The only difference there is if I have my Nigerian passport, I don't need a visa to come to Nigeria. I can just book my flight and say I'm going to Nigeria. I don't need to go to the consulate. As long as my Nigerian passport is still valid, it's not expired. I can decide tonight, oh, I want to go to Nigeria in two days' time. I can buy my ticket and know that I'm flying in two days' time because I have a valid Nigerian passport. Now, if I don't, then I need to take my U.S. passport or my U.K. passport or my Canadian passport and then go online, pay the fee for a visa and submit my passport at the Nigerian consulate for them to stamp it with a entry visa for me to visit Nigeria. Even though I believe Yoruba land is my fatherland, is my motherland. But now I don't have the passport to get in there. But I have another passport. So they are going to treat me as a stranger to enter my own land because I don't have the right passport, right? But I can still enter. As long as they grant me permission to enter. But for you, that you only have that Nigerian passport and you tear it up because you saw me tearing mine up or you burn it. Mr. Man, Madam, you are going nowhere. You can't go out and you can't come in. You are putting yourself at risk. Don't do it. Except <laughs> you know you already have another traveling passport somewhere. And you just want to deceive people. But I advise you tonight. Don't say because people, everybody is doing something. 
you want to join a bandwagon and do it think twice so that you don't get you you don't become a, a, a john doe a nobody even if you are going to seek for asylum questions will be asked it will even be better if you have your passport even if it's expired as long as it's original when they see you and you tell them your story you tell them why you are running away they can still consider you but they will verify that passport to be sure that it's authentic because they want to know who you are especially nowadays that we have isis terrorists and everything all around nobody just want to bring anybody into their country without knowing who they are or where they are coming from if not that nigeria is what it is you know they do background check for you when you come into all these countries they try to make sure they are not bringing criminals into their country a lot of people are looking for jobs high paying jobs and they lose they lost out you know why because they are calling the schools they claim to have attended in nigeria and because we don't have that kind of uh we don't have that kind of organization where they can verify these schools online or call the schools and get the right information they kept calling after a month they tell you well we couldn't reach nobody to confirm your credentials from that school we're sorry we are going to re resign this offer or we're not going to make an offer because we couldn't confirm everything you said thank god is be getting better now some schools now there are some schools that are recognized now like you bring your credentials and they see them they already know how to go about it where to go how to verify them but not all schools same thing goes for some places where you work in nigeria they can't reach nobody these are all the things we are talking about that these things need to change things need to change but at the same time while we are working towards this please please don't let anybody deceive you to put you in trouble or to jeopardize your safety you still need your passport that is why when the nigerian government when they are fighting against somebody the first thing they do is they take all their passports away from them that is them trying to make sure where you cannot go out we got you look at showore showore is still in nigeria he can't go nowhere because they took his passport not just showore there are other people like that there are other people like that that i don't want to mention their names oh you can say okay I'll go and do a fake one. She be kinsha to escape with me. Well, you, you are going to have to thank your stars and thank your God if you are not caught. Because if you are caught with a fake passport, you are committing another crime. You are committing another crime. So you are better off having your original passport. The moment you tear it up or you burn it and they know you did that, they can flag your name and tell them, don't issue a new passport to him or her. So we want to see how he or she is going to get out. Find the address because he has committed a crime. Send the DSS or send the police to go and arrest him. So where are you going to go? How are you going to escape when you don't have a passport? Even if you want to run away. Even if you run into Kutonu. Eh? If you like, walk. If you like, ride motorcycle and enter Kutonu. Just pray to God that one day you don't get stopped by the police and they're asking you who you are and they want to identify you. How will you identify yourself? But if you have your passport, you can easily identify yourself. Worst case scenario, they will tell you, you are not supposed to be in here. And then you tell them your story. Well, some people are trying to kill me. I'm trying to run away for safety. Okay, I want to seek asylum that's a different story that's a different case it's different from you are a nobody they don't have anything to identify you so let's think twice yes the people that are doing it i'm not saying they are wrong they are entitled to whatever they are doing i can do likewise but what i want you to understand is i have dual citizenship i have another passport 
that is not a Nigerian passport. So if you only have a Nigerian passport, don't try to be like me and tear up your Nigerian passport because you don't have another one. If you have to travel, you still need that passport. In as much as we have not got our Yoruba nation and the world has not recognized that, you don't have another passport yet. You don't. Don't deceive yourself and don't let nobody deceive you. Because ask yourself, if you say, oh, I have another passport, can you travel with it? Will it be recognized? But to brothers were sisters were one sorrow lola eh ni ago meji osan eastern time o ma je ago meje ale ni le yoruba eh be ni ago meje ale ni le yoruba o ma je ago meji osan ti temi ni bi bayi nitori pe eastern uh, standard time la wa nlo ago meje ale lola odo ya fun fun ke ya laje leti pade mi eh mo wa fe fi ikede isita gbogbo eni to ba mo pe tori mo n ri awon kan kan lenu jo meta yi mo si wa lori oro ti mo so gbogbo eni to ba ri nkan kan nipa awon ti ajo rinrin ajo yoruba nation ya la baba kin to ye ni abi oloye sunday adeye mo gbowo sa abi kan kan ninu awa soro soro ti awon eyan kan pe ni odale abi ti won so pe a a fe je ki nkan lo si waju te ba ri ate jade kan kan ton ba gbe jade boya won ni eh enikan collector abi enikan soro abi nkan kan ke to ma ba won da se abi ke to ma so mo fe be yin e koko wa die na kini authenticity what's the authenticity of that letter where did it come from who wrote it who brought it out e koko bira yin ni bere yen na e wo so si bi ti kini e ti jade wa before you start you know posting it or helping them to disseminate such false information because at the end of the day you were gone sorry hello look up when you run here oh my heart for anybody that's what i wrote for me because to back be why i will not debunk it but i will go and check it my lord check his source might be any question until I find out the truth before I will talk about it or do anything about it. It's not about defending anybody. And it's not about working for anybody. Like I said, people do say everybody has a price. And just for the sake of not going into any argument with nobody. Yes, I have a price. But nobody can pay my price. You cannot pay my price. You know why? Because if my price is to satisfy all the over 60 million Yoruba people and you want to offer me, just me alone, eh, $50 billion and you think that is my price, then you should be ready to pay that over 60 million Yoruba people the same amount, each and every one of them. That's why I said, I'm not going to argue with you like, oh, I don't, you can't pay my price or I don't have a price. Okay, I agree with you because people love to argue. Oh, everybody has a price. Okay, I have a price. But whatever price you are paying me that will satisfy me, then you should be ready to pay it to all other Yoruba indigents that I'm standing for, that I'm talking for, that I'm speaking for. If you cannot do that, you don't have my price. You cannot pay my price. That is my own stand. And most often, people think this is about fighting each other. It's enmity. Or we are no, 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 no. I'm not arguing with nobody. I don't have any enmity with anybody. But if you lie against an elderly person, or you think you can bastardize an elderly person by lying, 
and you say you have a leader, I will call your leader out because your leader is not a good leader. If that leader is a good leader, they should call you to order and tell you to stop it. Bring out facts. Bring out evidence. Talk based on facts, based on evidence. And I'm talking about verified and verifiable evidence. Not just something somebody cook or some beer parlor talks. And then just come online and start shouting, yelling, saying you are saying something. Kept repeating the same thing all the time. And at the end of the day, you're not getting nothing done. You're just making noise. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. Nobody is fighting nobody. We're just telling one another, let's do things the right way. And if it is not right, it is not right. It can never be right. The fact that I can shout and yell or curse people out doesn't make me, you know, the person saying the truth. The fact that I can tell lies about people doesn't make me, you know, the righteous person. It only makes me a fool that people are watching as a fool, but I don't know. Yes. You keep watching, I've told you. Have you seen the difference now? The election is over. Where are the crowds? Where are the ones shouting and yelling? Emma Shane, so where are they now? Yes, there are, there are still few of them out there. But I give you the next, well, by the middle of next month, watch what will happen. All of them will fade away totally. You will not see them again because by then they will be done. But now some of them are still hanging around because they still don't know what is going on or what is going to happen. So they are still trying to keep the status quo like, oh, but very soon, Oh my yo mo ton sunkun. Oh my ye ye ton re dake. Ewo, enye yo mi. O poro kagbon o. O la fe fe lo ma gbe lo. O je gege bi ato tonu mi la chale. Mo wa gba wa ni yon ju ni mo wa be wa. Ma te le yon o. We tori la gba ja fa passport ya ma fa te mi ya. E tori yi kini kan ta me du she kini kan. E ro o. We a ro nu e. Ko pwe o dofin nwe. Ko bire lere. To ba di ho ho ho. To di. E le rugbe rwe. So ni bito ma agbe gba. E mi ni biti ma agbe gba. O ti mba fati to do te mi ya. Mo shi ni another passport. Ti mo le lo. Bo shi wo ni. Ko to copy mi. I will always tell you the truth. I can come here. And say. Or do some things. But personally, ask yourself before you do what I'm doing or say what I'm saying. Do you have what it takes when it comes down to it?